Hi, I'm Chris Frausto, and I'm honored to have a show at the Garcia Center for the Arts. This is a one-woman show comprising of about 36 of my pieces. A little bit about me is I started out with altered books, which sort of morphed into a bookbinding interest and a three-dimensional interest with some sculptural pieces. I've been involved in the art world for over 30 years, and I have a bevy of ephemera and old books that I've collected at yard sales and estate sales over the time period. Most of my work has a story behind it, and I try to use as many recycled items as I possibly can. Because I'm doing altered books, this is my way of honoring the books rather than being tossed, I'm able to turn them into a work of art so that they can continue and live out their life as a book. I would like to take you through some of my pieces and explain the history and the idea and the stories behind many of my pieces. This is one of my early pieces. It was a gift from my mother. This is my mom and this is me. And this book is full of things that have to do with my mom reference to my mother. She loved the rabbits. She loved playing cards. And what I did was collect some of her letters and cut up some of her words from the letters and included them in the altered book. This piece is called Medieval Sinners. This is all found objects. The Christ in the middle of the image was given to me by an 80-year-old woman. It had been on her Bible when she was a young person. The pages are from a German Bible from the 1800s. I was inspired to do this piece by something I had seen in a museum. The medallions are representative of having a bishop stamp the document. It was believed that each stamp lessened one's stay in purgatory. This is my book. It is a journal that I have started creating as book binding. It's a leather journal with blank pages inside and I am perfecting the book binding technique. My next piece is an old oil can that inspired me to do more of a masculine piece. It's a book if I say it's a book. This is called Men in Their Cars, and the oil can contains images of men in their cars, and the images are from primarily the 1940s. This is an altered book, and it was altered from a child's hardback book. It's called I Love You More, and that was inspired by the piece that you see sticking up. That's a pocket that contains the back of an envelope that has this wonderful love poem written on it, and it starts out with I Love You More. The piece actually was inspired by that poem. This is part of my new book binding venture. This is actually a hardback book that I made, and it's a tunnel book. This is called Out of This World. This piece is also an altered book. It's called I'll Be Damned. It reflects the entire history of the making of Hoover Dam. This was inspired by a call for art in the state of Nevada that was to be themed around water. So I have started out with images of the Colorado River and the book continues through its history to a current day map of Lake Mead. This is an altered book that's called That Other Place. Because I've been collecting for so many years, I had a lot of very unusual pieces and so I've decided to incorporate as many as I could into my altered book. So different pages exemplify different areas and different things. Here is a window, stamps, 
pieces of ephemera from around the world. And one exciting piece I've incorporated, I managed to get an old slide, glass slide, into one of the pages. This is called That Other Place. This is a three-dimensional piece that I did. I was invited to participate in the City of Las Vegas Year of the Rat show. So I decided to venture into making a stuffed rat. This is the first time that I've made such a large three-dimensional piece. So if you were born in the Year of the Rat, this might be a less disturbing image this is called The Intellectual. I'm just gonna come on this, this piece is called Back At Ya. This was inspired by Day of the Dead. And the idea behind this piece is that it is back at you. You will eventually end up a skull just like this piece is. The wooden frame around the skull is actually from a shoemaker he used it in his workshop. The paper inside is from an old German Bible, and the skull is carved from bone. This is Life is a Three Ring Circus. I was inspired by this head of a marionette that I found in a pile of debris. So I have built him a frame, and I have him hanging for us to enjoy and I invite visitors to please pull his string. This is a child's board book that I have altered by simply removing the images and adding my own ephemera. Again, I was inspired by a wonderful quote that I found from 1892 and it starts out, may you be happy every day of your life. And that is the title of this piece. I was invited by the city of Las Vegas to do a piece for Year of the Pig. This is a pig that's wheeling into the future, yet he is carrying the past on his back. This is a board book that I have incorporated all kinds of World War II ephemera onto the pages. Therefore, the poor pig is wheeling into the past, yet he is carrying, wheeling into the future, yet carrying the past upon his back. A book is a book if I say it is a book. This piece was inspired by a wonderful poem by Tennyson called The Brook. It has six stanzas to the poem and I have placed one stanza within each column of this old painter's box. This piece is a graphite piece I did inspired by my interest in history. The title is History Matters, and this is when I was studying under the great Claremont artist Aldo Casanova. This altered book is called Let's Go to the Movies, I have taken my son to the movies ever since he was in elementary school, and now he is an adult. The pages reflect all the ticket stubs that I have saved from our 20 years of going to the movies together. The very first stub on page one that I've circled is from 1999. I also have free drinks and free popcorn tickets within this book. And now I realize it will definitely be a collector because we primarily buy our movie tickets online now. This piece was inspired by Day of the Dead and this is called The Former Intellectual. And it has papers, pages from a book from the 1800s decoupaged onto a plaster skull. This accordion book was inspired by a picture of a little girl that had a wonderful note attached to it. The note said, I was a little younger then, so I am calling this piece, I'm a little older now. 
It is all ephemera from the early 19th century, late 20th century. My background in art started out at the John Heron Art Institute in Indiana. Then I went on to commercial art at the Cincinnati Commercial Art Institute. I have studied art at Mount San Antonio College. I have a history degree from Claremont Graduate University, which my art reflects my honoring history and including history in all of my pieces. Because I use older pieces and I, and I use recycled pieces, uh, my studio is called The Rotten Apple. I'm using rotten items and my maiden name is Apple. <laughs>